Welcome back YouTube. So in this video, we're going to do an update on the price action, golden crosses. We're going to talk about some of the macro events. I know some of you have heard about the, the Trump verdict. We're going to tie everything in and try and, and make a conclusion really on what we can expect going forward here, at least in the short term, right? So the, the biggest thing is uh, for price action, we have the beginning of the, uh, the intersection here for our golden cross. And I wanted to make a point because I know some people have was showed some concern earlier this morning about the price action going down. Uh, first off, the, the price action today is going to have very little impact on far as for whether or not the um, the cross happens. So um, it's a 14 day, not a one day or five day or seven day, 10 day. Um, that's one of the reasons why we use some of those stronger indicators. And sometimes people were. Well, a couple of times, I'm not going to say sometimes, so a couple of times people are asking, what's the likelihood of it rejecting? Now, we like we talked about with Bitcoin in uh, the last video, and I was saying that just because we have the Golden Cross, it's not an immediate God candle to the upside. Um, you do have a bit of delay there or they can run parallel. Um, that can be um, the, the case here in the short term, but we haven't had, I was looking right before I started the video and we haven't had a rejection of the 14 off of the 72 in years. Um, typically when it comes to have that cross between the 14 and 72, it typically crosses, right? And it's done. So like, and that's been the case at least for the last two years. So, um, that hasn't happened, not saying it's impossible, but that hasn't been the case, um, in the last 24 months. And what we can normally have is I'll show you an example with Bitcoin because uh, it'll be a little bit more prominent here. Um, so what can happen here is if we take a look, let's go back to October. So what can happen is you can see there can be brief moments where you're about to cross the intersection of, of the 72, the 14 and 72, and you'll cross but it'll run parallel to it for a while. So that's why you would kind of get like that sideways movement or it'll, it won't necessarily break with uh, just like I was saying, like a God candle to the upside, you will have kind of like this, um, like it'll make like a Twix almost like kind of like a braid um, where they're trending sideways. Now, the beautiful thing is the 14 and 72, what you're looking at is roughly a two week indicator crossing a two and a half month indicator. So what you're looking at is a trend of capital coming into the market. So in order for that to happen, you have to be on a serious uptrend there to catch the median of a two and a half month indicator with something as aggressive and short time frame as a two week. Right. Because remember, everything outside of 14 days falls off. So the 15th day of that moving average, that average no longer counts for where that uh, that price action is going to be. So if you have a 14 and 72, you have a pretty significant trend here of capital coming into the market. It's one of the reasons why I don't like using shorter time frames, because you'll see sometimes people use like a 50 and a 200, some of those major, um, some of those larger um, uh, moving averages there. But I like to kind of chart the small the, the the micro and the macro right the red line here is the 200 i do keep track of it but when you see a 50 crossing a 200 then it's obvious at that point that the uh, especially with the 200 that there's massive volume coming in there and you've already missed out on a lot of the liquidity um, and i also believe that if you do something like a seven day and a 21 day You'll be having, especially with the momentum we've been seeing now, we, we would have been saying, hey, this is a golden cross weeks ago. And then every other week because of the price action, it's like, oh, it's a golden cross. It's a golden cross. It's a golden cross. Right. And then you'll be on here every other day saying it's to the moon. So I like to kind of make uh, the algorithm kind of give a more concrete data when it's saying when it's when it's talking about the price action moving in a particular di uh, direction. So if I'm concerned about the reading saying, hey, we're going to go to the upside. I need some concrete data here that's not just based off of the last week, right? I want to have at least a few weeks in there and compile that over the price action over the last couple of months. And that'll kind of give me an idea of um, the trend of capital that's going into the market. So I hope that makes sense. And I just kind of explain why it's those, those indicators and kind of like the history behind um, the 14 and 72. Um, the same thing here, like what happened back in February. We had the sideways action here and then we had the cross. But 
we did see that initial pump there. Price action came down and rode the 14th. Um, it, 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 Bitcoin is infamous for doing that, and Doge does that a lot as well. So that's something also to look at. But last time for Doge, obviously, uh, we had that historic run here. And this is what I was saying. Uh, I believe I said this last week. And even as this was happening this entire time when I was making videos, I was saying this has never happened before and it, and it has not. So it'll be very interesting if we saw something similar to this, but I would not count on uh, like a week and a half of straight green days um, after that. Uh, we, we get this uh, signal here after we get a conviction above this uh, 14 and 72, because even here you'll see some sideways action here. That's why I was saying it took, normally it took like some days and you can kind of get some progression to the upside here, but you're getting the signal for the overall trend. And it is possible that uh, we can see some parallel movements here with the 14 and 72. But as I said, over the last couple of years, um, it has not rejected off of it. Or once we had that cross, it just immediately went down. Typically it, it signals a move to the upside here. So that's one of the things that we're looking at. Another major thing that we want to talk about is having the ability to gauge the next leg. That's really what's important for this um, for this next leg here is to gauge uh, the next leg and kind of get an idea of how strong that leg is going to be so that we can get some concrete data on what a, a peak bull run looks like, what kind of like where we're going to end up. Is this going to trend with the market above the market? Is Bitcoin going to um, be living up? Because we were seeing uh, predictions for Bitcoin even being at half a million, uh, 750,000, 300,000, these multiples of huge numbers. So this next leg, not just for Doge, but for crypto in general, how this how this next leg performs is going to be very uh, telling for with the market. Because remember last market, uh, a lot of people were calling for hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin and stuff, and um, the and I remember when I made the video saying that Bitcoin was going to retrace and go to like twenty thousand. Obviously, it wasn't a, a popular video, but I also know that I'm typically more on the conservative side of price action when it comes to those uh, those higher numbers here. So we'll see how this leg goes. We can kind of get a concrete idea of the strength of this movement at least here in the, uh, in, in the short term. Now, obviously, if we're charting history, the big momentum is going to come around Q4 or early 2025, um, charting with history. And that leads me into the next category, which was the which is the the Trump uh, verdict that came out. I saw a lot of comments asking about, is this going to have an effect on crypto? Is it going to bring uh, crypto down, particularly things uh, like Doge? Not immediately. Um, because obviously Trump hasn't, it, the the verdict is in the end as far as for who the next president is going to be. Now, if this is November and it's looking like, uh, you know, if Biden is, you know, not uh, in favor of crypto and Trump is, and then we start to see um, the the tide kind of change there, or it looks like Biden is going to win, then possibly that can have an effect. But right now, I think it's a little soon to say that the verdict is going to tank crypto. Um, I think what we're seeing here um, is normal to a degree, right? Uh, we know that we had around 2 million options come in for Doge um, the other day for a 22 cents uh, strike price, I believe January 7th, so about a week out. So typically when you see this, you'll see either a spike in shorts or something like that. We'll, we'll take a look or we'll see um, kind of like a sell off here or some swapping going on around the end of the month. We, we typically talk about I'll talk about that. Let's take a look here quickly at shorts. Um, let's see. No, no, nothing from shorts. Uh, nothing serious. I'll say 0.82% on the day. So they're not confident the price is going down, even though. Um, you will see the people that are actually holding the coin are somewhat concerned about it, but the shorts have not seen in conviction here, at least worthy enough for them to um, come in and say, hey, we're, we're going to try and make a profit here because we believe this asset is going to go down. So, again, that kind of makes sense here for what we're charting. Again, looking at here at liquidation, shorts, almost non-existent, 321.5, longs are 4.3. Um, let's see, open interest around 801, so still over that 800 
mark um we'll start to get an idea of like a, a major run here once we get to around nine so again another 100 million in open interest and once we start closing in on that billion mark that's typically when we start to get some decent candles to uh the upside long ratio now this is a very interesting thing longs are piling in i have not i believe this is the highest i've seen uh this year when it comes to longs uh 77 percent in the last five minutes to 22 77 to 22 in the 30 77 to 22 on the hour 75 i've seen 75s typically that's the highest i've caught it uh, 75 25 on the four hour 75 25 on the one day this is interesting here so we sh we may get some decent price action here later tonight um, they are taking long positions here for this asset to move to the upside. So um, don't panic just yet. Uh, we are, you know, we know we have some signals confirming some moves to the upside here soon, but we're seeing the price action and the positions being taken behind the scenes as well. So this is very interesting. I, I'm pretty sure I want I want to safely say this is the highest I've seen it. So um, we can kind of. Keep an eye on this uh, going into um, the weekend here, but we should see some retesting here. I know Bitcoin did a, um, a run earlier today. We should see some testing here for the upside, and we'll be able to get an idea for uh, for Bitcoin and for Doge and as far as a win and how strong that initial break is going to be, because that's going to be very telling as well. So if we can get a decent break here um, soon. Then we'll kind of get like an idea here. So, but ultimately, what we're looking for Bitcoin above seventy, and Doge. Re, well, Bitcoin retesting the seventy, Doge retesting um, that eighteen mark, and then we'll get an idea. But a lot of these options that are coming in for Doge have strike prices of twenty two cents. So they're clearly expecting us to get that um, that break here sometime in the next week, um, because like like I said, we have millions of options coming in um, with uh, strike prices for uh, i think june 7th for june 7th through june 10th roughly so sometime here within the next week they're expecting a big move here and obviously that's one of the things that we've been charting here with this golden cross was to get an idea of saying hey we should be expecting some price action soon here to the upside so everything's lining up that's what we're looking at uh for the uh, price action update uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments whether that's about price action whether that's about the uh, the Trump verdict, I'm very interested to have that conversation and I'll try and get back to as many of you as possible. If you can, please consider subscribing to the channel so that we can beat Bitcoin to 100,000 by getting 100,000 subscribers first. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.